Magandang araw mga bata! Welcome to Teacher Marla's Channel kung saan maraming matututunan sa lesson na ating pag-aaralan. Our subject is Mathematics 6. And our topic for today is Multiplication of Fraction. In multiplying fraction, we multiply by means of numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. So let's have an example. Number 1, let us multiply simple fraction by simple fraction. Example, we have 2 fifths times 3 7. So let us multiply the numerator. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Then let us multiply the denominator. 5 times 7 is equal to 35. Since the common factor of the product is 1, it means it is in lowest term. Another example in multiplying simple fraction by simple fraction, we have 10 over 12 times 2 over 6. So we will multiply the numerator. 10 times 2 is equal to 20. Then multiply the denominator 12 times 6 is equal to 72. Since 20 and 72 have the common factors, so let's find the GCF. So the common factors of 20 and 72 are 1, 2, and 4. So the GCF is 4. So let us divide the GC 20 and 72 by the GCF 4 for us to get the lowest term. So 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. And 72 divided by 4 is equal to 18. Since the common factor is 1, it means it is in lowest term. So, ibig sabihin, um, wala nang makakapag-divide sa 5 and 18 aside from 1. So, ibig sabihin, 5 over 18 is in simplest form and the final answer. Number 2, how to multiply simple fraction by mixed fraction. So, 3 and 1, 9 is in mixed fraction. So, para ma-multiply natin yung 3 and 1, 9 and 5 over 7, kailangan natin i-convert muna ang 3 and 1, 9 to improper fraction. So, let us copy 5 over 7, then uh, 3 and 1, 9. So, 9 times 3 is equal to 27 plus 1 is equal to 28. So, that will be the numerator, then copy the denominator. So, 3 and 1, 9 will become 28 over 9. So, ito na yung improper fraction. Kapag naging improper fraction na siya, pwede na tayong mag-multiply. So, multiply the numerator. 5 times 28 is equal to 140. Then, 7 times 9 is equal to 63. Since ito ay improper fraction, so gagawin natin itong lowest term. Kailangan natin i-lowest term by um, converting to mixed number. So, paano mag-convert ng mixed number? So, i-divide natin ang 140 divided by 63. So, 140 divided by 63 is equal to 2. 2 times 63 is equal to 126. Then, subtract, we have remainder 14. So, 2 is the whole number, then 14 yung numerator, and copy the denominator, 63. So, kailangan pa natin hanapin ang simplest form ng 2 and 14 over 63 since ang 14 and 63 ay merong common factor. So, the common factors of 14 and 63 are 1 and 7. So, Ang GCF nila ay 7. So, kailangan natin i-divide ang 14 and 63 by 7 para makuha ang lowest term. So, 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2. Then, 63 divided by 7 is equal to 9. Copy the whole number. So, ang final answer natin ay 2 and 2, 9 kasi po wala nang makakapag-divide sa 2 and 9 aside from 1. Number 3, how to multiply mixed fraction by mixed fraction. So, ang mga mixed fraction, kailangan muna natin i-convert sa improper fraction. So, 2 times 2 is equal to 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. Copy the denominator 2. Then, for 6 and 1 fourth, 4 times 6 is equal to 24 plus 1 is equal to 25. Copy the denominator 4. Then, proceed to multiplication. 5 times 25 is equal to 125. 
2 times 4 is equal to 8. So, since improper fraction ito, so kailangan natin siyang i-mixed fraction para malawest term. So, we will divide. 12 divided by 8 is equal to 1. 1 times 8 is equal to 8. Then, subtract. We have 4. Bring down 5. Then, 45 divided by 8 is equal to 5. 5 times 8 is equal to 40. Subtract, we have remainder 5. So, yung remainder 5, siya yung magiging numerator. Yung 15 ang magiging whole number, then we have denominator 8. So, since ang 5, 8 ay wala ng common factor aside from 1, so, ibig sabihin na kalawas term na ito, and 15 and 5, 8 is the final answer. Number 4, how to multiply simple fraction by whole number. So, let's have 2 over 5 times 7. So, kailangan mo lang i-multiply yung 2, yung numerator sa whole number, then copy the denominator. So, 2 times 7 is equal to 14, copy the denominator 5. So, since improper fraction ito, uh, gagawin natin siyang mixed number para malawest term. So, 14 divided by 5. So, the answer is 2 and 4 fifths. So, nakalawest term na ito kasi po wala ng common factor ang 4 and 5 aside from 1. 1 na lang ang makakapag-divide sa 4 and 5. Ibig sabihin, nakalawest term na ang asagot natin. So, the final answer is 2 and 4 fifths. Now, let us use cancellation method in multiplying fraction. Example, let's multiply 4 fifth times 10 over 11. So, paano nga ba ginagamit ang cancellation method? So, para siyang cross multiply. So, yung 4 ang kapartner niya ay 11. Yung 5 ay kap ang kapartner niya ay 10. So, para makancel natin yung 4 and 11, Mag-iisip kayo ng number aside from 1 na makakapag-divide sa number na ito. Since ang common factor ng 4 and 11 ay 1, ang ibig sabihin, hindi natin pwedeng i-cancel ang 4 and 11. So, proceed tayo sa 5 and 10. Meron bang common factor ang 5 and 10? Yes, meron. So, ang common factor ng 5 and 10 ay 5. So, ibig sabihin... Ang 5 ay madi-divide ng 5, ang 10 ay madi-divide ng 5. So, kapag ganun, pwede natin i-cancel. So, let us cancel 10 and divide it by 5. 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. Then, let us cancel 5. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. So, ano ang purpose ng cancellation method? So, imbis na mag-multiply tayo ng 4 times 10, Ang i-multiply na lang natin ay 4 times 2. So, pinaliit niya yung number na i-multiply natin. So, let us multiply 4 times 2 and 1 times 11. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. 1 times 11 is equal to 11. So, ang 8 over 11 ay nakalowest term na since ang common factor na lamang nila ay 1. Kapag ang makakapag-divide na lang sa numerator and denominator ay 1, ibig sabihin nakalowest term na yung fraction. Another example, let's have 14 over 18 times 3 over 21. So, 14 and 21. Ano ang common factor ng 14 and 21? So, ang 14 and 21 ay madedivide ng 7. So, pwede nating i-cancel ang 14 and 21 kasi pwedeng madivide sila ng 7. So, 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2. 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3. So, next, pwede bang i-cancel ang 18 and 3? So, mag-iisip tayo ng common factor ng 18 and 3. So, ang 18 at saka 3 ay pwedeng ma-divide ng 3. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin siyang i-cancel. Let us cancel 3. 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. Then, 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6. So, from 14, naging 2 na siya. Yung 3 naging 1, yung 18 naging 6, yung 21 naging 3. Tandaan po, kapag nagka-cancel, dapat pare parehong number ang i-divide nyo. Kaya nga sabi, common factor. So, hindi pwedeng magkaiba. Hindi pwedeng dito ay 7, dito ay 21. Kailangan kung 7 dito, 7 din dito. 3 dito, 3 din ang i-divide sa kabila. Kaya we have common Factor. So, after the cancellation, we will multiply 
2 times 1 and 6 times 3. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. 6 times 3 is equal to 18. Since ang 2 and 18 ay may common factor pa, which is 2, so the GCF is 2, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1, then 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9. Since naka-unit fraction na siya, 1 over 9, ibig sabihin, naka-lowest term na po ang 1 over 9. Okay, so let us summarize our discussion. So, how to multiply fraction? So, number 1, we have simple fraction by simple fraction. In multiplying simple fraction, so you can use cancellation method. And then after that, multiply the numerator and multiply the denominator. Second, we have simple fraction by mixed fraction. Before multiplying, you need to convert uh, mixed fraction to improper fraction. So, kailangan mo na itong i-convert bago kayo mag-proceed sa multiplication. So, 11 times 2, then plus 8, copy the denominator. Number 3, mixed fraction by mixed fraction. So, katulad ng sinabi ko, bawal pong mag-multiply ng uh, mixed fraction. So, i-convert mo na ito sa improper I-convert mo na ito sa improper fraction, saka mag-proceed sa multiplication. Number four, simple fraction by whole number. So, dito, i-multiply mo lang yung numerator sa whole number, copy the denominator, and simplify your answer. Okay, that's the end of our discussion. I hope you learned how to multiply fractions. Thank you for watching. If you are new in our channel, Please subscribe and click the notification bell for more math and science videos.